Did you used to play in this park when you were a kid, Luger? Oh, right. Must have been nice. I was an only child. Yes? Dr. Mathis, it's Mary. Those pushy people are skulking around the lab again. The one guy says he has a valuable spirit fossil. He's insisting that you trade him your device for it. What? Did he say anything else? Only that it's from one of the great spirits. Apparently he got it through connections. I'd have Director Balin deal with it, but he's at an investor's meeting right now. With just us here, we don't know what to do. Stonewall him, Mary. You're in Helioborg now? I am. I'll be right there. Don't agree to anything he says, okay? And tell everyone else to do the same. She sure talks loud. Sorry, guess you heard her. I have to go take care of that. That was one of the other Spyrite researchers in Helioborg. She seemed a little worked up. Are... are you sure? I'm going too. Thanks. In that case, let's get to Helioborg.
Come on, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. It's win-win. I don't see why you even need to bother Dr. Mathis with this. Look, for the last time, our answer is no! You sure about that? I've heard a few things about this lab, you know. Your research is dead in the water without this, am I wrong? Let's hurry onward. I'm Jude Mathis. Sorry to keep you waiting. How might I help you today? Ah, Dr. Mathis. Just the man I wanted to see. I've got an offer you can't refuse. It's about that device of yours. I already told you, it's still undergoing clinical trials. We're not ready to accept any offers. But I hear you've achieved a success rate close to 80% with lesser spirit class spyrites. That's good enough for practical use. Sign an exclusive distribution deal with us and you'll find yourselves on Easy Street. We'll decide when the device is good enough. A 20% failure rate just doesn't cut it. Is that so? You're certainly cavalier about your lack of progress. I know how much money has been sunk into this project. Investors aren't exactly the patient type. <laughs> of course, I didn't come to a contract negotiation empty-handed. That's a great spirit fossil. Something like that might come in handy for your research. A great spirit? Celsius, perhaps? Yep, the genuine article. Wielded by the leader of Exodus himself. Celsius's fossil sank to the bottom of the sea a year ago, in the ruins of the ESS Zenithra. The Rizamaxian government conducted the salvage operation of the Zenithra. I believe that makes this fossil the property of Rizamaxia. How'd you end up with it? Uh. <laughs> you certainly know your stuff, Dr. Mathis. Perhaps it's time for you to leave. I know when I've worn out my welcome. I'll bid farewell for today. But I hope you'll give my proposal some thought. For the sake of your research. Don't forget that. Consider it a gift. Although you didn't get it from me, of course. Catch my drift? Fine, thanks. I'm sorry you had to deal with that guy. Oh no, I'm totally okay. Thank you so much for coming, Dr. Mathis. Thanks to all of you. Mary, would you put this in safekeeping for me? I don't know if it really is what he claims, but why take any chances? Of course. I'll inform Dr. Balin as well. Thanks, Mary. Let's go. Your Olympian trains certainly are impressive. Before, I could barely tell one train apart from another, but now I've really come to appreciate the majesty of their designs. Sorry for getting you mixed up in this. <laughs> I get that a lot. I get where they're coming from, but 
we just need more data before we can begin full-scale implementation. If we could begin testing it with great spirits. No, forget I said that. We can't rush into things unprepared. Yeah, you're right. We're too close to our goal to risk going off the rails now. It's just that sometimes I lose sight of my convictions. Then I don't know what to do. Jude. Thanks. I'll keep looking for an answer. It's out there somewhere. Thanks for coming along, Luger. It felt good to have some backup.